name is Rachel Simon. In this video, I will be showing you different types of custom animation tools you can use in PowerPoint. I will first show you how to insert a photograph from PowerPoint's clip art gallery. I will also show you how to import your own photograph from your desktop onto a PowerPoint slide. From there, I'll show you different types of custom animation tools that are available for you to use, such as entrance effects, exit effects, and emphasis effects. I'll show you how to alter the start time of those effects, whether it be on click, with previous, or after previous. I'll also show you how to change the duration of these types of animations. This video is about three minutes long. I'll be using it out of Microsoft PowerPoint 2011, and I'll be showing you the screen on my MacBook. So I hope you find this to be helpful. how to use custom animations in PowerPoint. You're going to come down and select Microsoft PowerPoint from your dock. You're going to open a new slide. I like to use the blank layout when I'm doing photographs just so you can see them a little bit better. I'm going to first show you how to do this with a clip art image. So you'll go up to insert, come down to clip art, click on clip art gallery. From here you'll have a ton of different options. I'm going to choose from the animal category. Scroll down and choose this dog here. Once I have him selected, I click on Insert, and he will appear on my slide. I'm going to select the dog in the slide, and then this blue box will appear. I'm going to come up to the toolbar menu here, come all the way over to Animations, and here are all the different kinds of animations you have the options to use. So you have Entrance Effects, Emphasis Effects, and Exit Effects. So we'll start with Entrance Effects. You can come over here and click on this arrow pointing down, and here's the full entrance effects options. So we can go ahead and choose to use the wedge option, and that'll make the dog appear like this. Once this number one appears, that shows you that the animation has been applied. So you can, from there, layer on different types of effects. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to go through each of them individually. So I'll remove that effect, select the dog again, move over to emphasis effects, show the full option menu here. We can make the dog spin with this kind of effect. And again, that number one will appear showing you that it has been applied. I'm going to come off one last time and show you some exit effects. So select that full menu, and we can do a faded zoom to make the dog disappear like this. So once you have selected which animation or animations you'd like to use, you can come over to Animation Options and click um, either Start or Duration. The start will show you that you have the option of making the animation begin on click with previous or after previous. We'll stick with on click. The duration, you have the option of increasing or decreasing the time with these arrows here. So if you arrow up, you can increase the time and arrow down decreases the time. So that's how to use these custom animations on a clip art image. But if you'd like to insert your own image, you want to go ahead and add a different slide. So again, we'll use this blank layout. You'll come up to Insert, come all the way down to Photo, and choose Picture from File. This will show up with your desktop, and you can select your own image. Click Insert, just like we did before, and then my nephew will appear on one of the slides. So once I have him selected, I can come up to Animations, and I can apply all the same options. I can make Parker spin, just like we made the dog spin. And that's how you do custom animations in a PowerPoint. Thank you.